Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Exciting day today. Uh, if you're watching this video, you probably already know why. Uh, today I'm gonna go pick up my uh, 2021 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road pickup truck. It's my first ever pickup truck, so super excited. Nice weather out there. And uh, I'm gonna, it's a Wednesday, but I'm gonna skip work for half a day to pick up this thing. And just waiting for my wife to come back and then we're gonna be ready to go. Uh, everything's all taken care of, the money, I mean, the, the price. I already signed the paper, that down payment's already done. Uh, it was, uh, it arrived about a couple of days ago at the dealership, they called me. And then I have them uh, install a couple more options, uh, some accessories and things like that. So uh, today they told me it's ready to pick up. So I'm gonna head out and uh, go to the dealership and we'll take you along. Let's go. So at the garage, waiting for my wife to show up. Yeah, she promised she will be on time. Well, we'll see. So this is my uh, 2017 Subaru Forester. Uh, you've seen it in a couple of the videos that I have in my channel. Uh, so I'm not I'm not trading this in. Uh, it's gonna go to my daughter. She's 15 and she's gonna be taking driving lessons soon. So something like that will be good for her to drive around in the future. So to show you how ready I am. You can see down here, these two boxes. These are the two uh, uh, accessories that I order for the Tacoma that I don't even own. Uh, so this is the the window um, wind deflector, um, kind of like the window visor wind deflector that I'm gonna be putting on. And the big box down below, that uh, is the the running boards that I ordered from Amazon. Uh, something something not too expensive, about $270. And then and I will be putting it on in some uh, following uh, videos. So make sure you follow me along um, on my journey to my first ever pickup truck. I'm a newbie. i new to pickup trucks and I always wanted one. All right, she showed up. Let's go. So this is my uh, 2017 Pilot. You've seen it in a couple of videos as well. Um, yep, we're not selling this one either. We're keeping it. This is my wife's car. Let's go. Woo! Exciting. Welcome to Oregon. All right, we're here. Oregon City, Glass Dome. Just about 20 minutes south of Portland. So Glassstone and Oregon City are the two satellite cities just south of Portland. Uh, just, you know, some regular, good old, you know, Americans, common sense people here, good folks. Well, I love this place. I always come here to get my fishing gear, tackles, ammo, um, just blue color, you know, good old Americans. Okay, we're here. Toyota of Glassstone. Let's go. Where's my truck? So we got all taken care of? Yep. Thank you, Kristen. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, this my goodness. Not, I don't think this one's yours. This is not mine? No. Oh, yeah. It's not mine. Yeah, no on it. yeah and it's, it's a short bed. Whoa. There it is. TRD off rail cement gray. Long bed. Premium package. Premium package. All right, first thing, shout out to uh, Glassstone, Toyota of Glassstone, this guy, Windows Evans. Happy to help, man. Yeah, he's the guy to hook me up. He went the extra miles, you know, he got the best price for me. He went out there and searched the entire inventory for the, in the US, got me the best deal, you know, hunt down the exact same trim, exact, you know, model, all the accessories, everything so he's the guy got to make sure it's exactly what you want yeah man. well too bad you can't see his face but uh his names yep cool <laughs> windows evans he's the good guy come see him yeah. thank you oh nice uh blackout emblem that goes inside of here too okay really cheap like a couple hundred bucks maybe a hundred bucks nice they'll install it for you and everything and I also installed this particular option. 
Oh yes, right there. This is what I want. Because I'm gonna put a uh, camper top on the truck bed, so that will kind of get me easy to uh, climb in and out of that. So this is a must have for me. Great, perfect. And it does not really reduce the uh, departure angle that much. Not really, yeah. Yeah, it's Couple great. Inches, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, let's hop inside. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. All the goodies of the TRD off road, crawl control. Mm -hmm. Multi-train selection, multi-train selections, rear locker, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There's a lot of stuff for a, a, a first-time truck owner. <laughs> first truck? Oh yeah, first truck. Oh man. Yeah. I've been wanting a truck for 20 years. Just the uh, other priorities, you know, get in the way. Me too. I yeah. just finally got mine last year. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, and then what I really like, a real solid handbrake. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. No button. Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, you cannot find this anywhere. This is awesome. We're gonna try uh, remote start this thing with my uh, my phone app, right? Okay. So let's see. We can push this button right here. See if it's all connected. Makes me look good. Yeah, keeps the new guy uh, employed. Definitely, <laughs> your new guy. Oh no! Uh, yeah, I just started last year. Oh. Oh, well, hey, you know, once again, Window Evans, great guy. Helped me, you know, find this vehicle. Good deals. Yep. He uh, fought with his boss to got me the price that I wanted it. So we both ended up a little bloody, but this guy's happy. So you know. <laughs> yes. All right, man. Talk to you later. Thanks, man. Thank you. Have see, a good you. Day. see you around. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here and take my face mask off. No, oh, let's walk around this thing. Take a look. Oh yeah, long bed. Cement color. Oh, love that. Sixteen inch, super fat, chunky tires. Goodyear, factory tires, Goodyear, all-terrain, adventure. So it's Kevlar. So hopefully these guys are, are good for both on and off-road. A good balance of on and off-road. Black leather interior. Sunroof. Something that I always wanted on the truck. So, the uh, the bed step is a $290 option, uh, $395 installed. So that's the one of the accessories that I put on. And it does not seem to uh, reduce the uh, departure angles. So, super happy about that. So this one has the uh, the premium package. Um, so you got the leather sunroof, and also it has the the basic technology package, which is the I think it's the seven hundred eighty dollar package. It's not the advanced uh, technology package that has you know all the the monitoring um, uh, cameras or things like that. So this one only has a backup camera, but this one for the regular. Uh, technology package it comes with uh, I think uh, blind spot monitoring um, backup sensors and some things basic like that um, so you know it's already it, because it's already part of the tr truck when it's delivered so really something that I don't have a choice of uh, want it or not so no problem it's all good um, I got a really good deal on this truck I'm not going to tell you like how much I pay 
because it's really not fair to the to you know uh, the dealership because you know I really work out a great deal with them. Um, it's just everybody's different with their you know um, the credits and all that stuff. So it's just something that you have to work with your dealership to to get a good deal that you want it. Oh, so we got some cameras. Wow, that sunroof, huh? Really just makes it so much area, so much uh, room here. It seems like it opens up the space a lot. What do you think? Awesome. Yeah, the wife's excited. Smell of new car. Leather. You know, uh, you know what, what else my wife's excited about? Is that uh, I can finally stop talking about getting a truck after <laughs> 20 years. I've been talking about getting a truck for 20 years since we were together. I think it's just that the other priorities kind of got in the way, you know, kid and baby and then, you know, school, minivans and, and everything else. So now finally, um, I got to, to get what I wanted. So this is it. So we're gonna get ready to go home. First, first thing first. Now we're ready. Let's go. Let's get the get the engine started. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're ready to go finally. We're gonna pull out of here. Hopefully I don't hit any other cars in the dealership. <laughs> this is a big car. <laughs> this is like two two feet longer than any other cars I ever own, like including my uh I think our Honda Odyssey minivan was uh, maybe 210 inches. So this is a 225, so a little bit over a feet longer. So it got a really long bed, so so hopefully I don't hit anything. Well, wish me luck. I will tell you how it drives. So although I already have test driven a similar vehicle before you know, before this one, but um, but you know, but I still I will, I will tell you as like I'm driving out, driving this out of the, the parking lot for the first time. So exciting! Yeah. Okay. I'm pulling out. Wow, there's a lot of car today. BC day. What's going on with this pandemic? Why is everybody out, right? <laughs> Get out now. Okay, it's nice. It doesn't feel heavy, you know? It definitely, you know, the transmission, I, I don't, I don't have any complaint about it. it. It does seems like it sort of starts at second gear. You know, like how it just kind of start like at the taller gear. You know, it doesn't feel like it was starting on the first gear. So, so you do have to almost like felt like you want to kind of give a little bit more gas to force it down to first gear. Maybe although it's already on first gear, I don't know, but. Uh, it does feel like it's trying to always try to go for a higher, taller gear, you know, at the get-go. And as for the ride quality, it is really cushy. You know, I think those fat 16-inch tires makes you feel like you're like, you know, you're riding on box springs, you know, mattresses. Yeah. The seat's pretty comfortable. Um, you know, height adjustable. So I'm, I'm sitting at a really good height. I can see outside the window really well. And uh, I wish the uh, the seat um, has a longer lateral support. Yeah, I think this is, the seat's a little shorter even than my uh, Subaru Forester. Uh, it does not give you like the extent of my thigh does not kind of give me that 
entire thigh support. I hope, I wish it was a little longer, but, uh, but everybody's different. Now the, I mean like people say, okay, this truck drive, drives like a truck, but duh, you know, it's a truck. So what do you expect, you know? Like I, I think it drives like a truck, even though I never owned a truck before, because it does not drive like anything I ever owned before. So, uh, which is a good thing. That's why I, this is why I buy the truck for is just, I want something that drives like a truck because I am getting a truck. And, and uh, I haven't really get to like a lot of windy roads during my test drive. So I don't know like how it handles, but so far the, uh, the steering feels pretty light. Um, you know, uh, it feels like it's not as tight as my Honda Pilot, that's for sure. Uh, you can do a little more, you know, turning like that. It doesn't really as like as responsive as like the Hondas, but this is a truck, right? So it's supposed to feel, drive and steer like a truck. So being a truck is not a bad thing. But I think like unless you get something like a Honda Ridgeline, then it will really drive like kind of an SUV crossover truck. I think the Ridgeline has that Honda Pilot ride quality to it. But Tacoma, it's a truck, definitely. Now, like rumor has it that um, the transmission will sort of slowly learn your driving habits over time. So I'll be interesting to see if um, if this car will sort of you know learn how I drive and how how I use the throttle and then sort of learn the way and then it will smooth things out for me over time. But right now it just that I just kind of getting used to the throttle and how it's responding and everything. And it's not bad. Definitely has power. Uh, but you do need to sort of kind of make it, you know, force it out of the overdrive to get it. Because this thing loves to park itself on overdrive. Uh, I will do a, a thousand miles um, review. Because I think um, the braking period is 1,000 miles. So... I would expect the gas mileage within this 1,000 1, miles will, will be pretty bad because you know as the car's breaking in and everything. But I will let you know what the gas mileage is uh, after 1,000 miles. And hopefully after that, then I will be doing a little bit more of like, you know, faster highway driving, more highway driving, some using a cruise control. I think that will help a lot. And I'll be doing some towing as well. I have a, I have a small boat that I will be towing. Okay, let's go. Get on the freeway. First time merging. Oh yeah, see it's downshift pretty quickly. I gave a little bit of gas and it's downshifted. Running at 2000 RPM right now at the 35 miles. The engine do make a little bit of noise, but overall it seems pretty responsive. It's got definitely good good power, you know, if you're not loading the car with anything. Crossing the bridge from Oregon into Washington. It's a beautiful weather day, but uh, traffic sucks. <laughs> oh, look at that. Just stops and go. So for the uh, first 1,000 miles, I was just gonna take it easy with this truck and not try to do anything crazy like crawling on rocks. Just kind of give it a chance to uh, properly break in uh, for this break-in period. Because uh, I do intend to keep this vehicle for a long, long time. Okay, so that bad traffic's ended, so let me uh, try to give it some power. I like the di uh, digital speedometer, really nice, I can read out the exact mile, the exact speed. So gas mileage so far, after 30 miles. 15.8 not bad for a vehicle that's still in its uh, break-in period right all right so we're on a home stretch just
just a couple hundred yards from my house. Yeah, made it home from all this BC traffic. Uh, I didn't like it because uh, I was keep keep on watching my rear wheel mirror. You know, just worried that people might crash into me. You know, because now <laughs> this is what you do, right? When you have a brand new car, you always kind of worry about things like that, or when you park and everything. So now, so the whole drive home was, wasn't any excitement because it's just slow, just so slow because of the traffic. So now we just need to, uh, the exciting part is to get it into the garage and I measured it and I have, I think I have enough space for this long truck. Um, so we'll see, we'll see about that. Uh, I don't even have the garage door opener. Ooh, holy moly, made it home. Look at that. I mean, this is a long truck. I still managed to fit it in the garage. Where the, the garage door will close with a little bit of several inches to spare. Not bad. Well, the garage look a lot more cluster now, but uh, everything still fit. Well, it closes. Amazing. Oh, uh, see? I got my uh, running board right here, ready to install. So, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work. All right, guys, so, so that was a uh, fun afternoon. Spent a lot of time just kind of doing, you know, at the dealership, just kind of going over all the details and all that stuff. Uh, and uh, now I got the truck in my garage. It's mine, <laughs> finally. Yeah, so uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do some more exploring of this truck and uh, uh, that uh, the blue suspension shock right there. That's interesting. I'm gonna go take a look at that. Yeah, I don't know a lot about trucks, so um, it's gonna be fun. Uh, I think uh, just take you guys along for me to explore trucks and trucking and all that stuff. Uh, newbie on the block, uh, definitely exciting. Well, it's late, I'm gonna get ready for dinner and uh, thanks for watching, uh, I will talk to you very soon.